Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy, Marcus Elbow. Welcome to Elbow Media Studios. And if this is your first time, <laughs> you in the right place, bro. Because all we do over here is keep it crunk, man. Yo, yo, yo. Media Studio. Today, we're going to be doing another Cubasis 3 tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to get vocals inside of Cubasis 3. This is going to be a fun tutorial, but before we get started, there's a few things that you're going to need in order for you to make this happen and to make this a quality recording and a quality tutorial for you. First off, you're going to need to get the camera kit adapter, okay? This is going to be for your iPad. If you've been around for a while and you've been using uh, iPad as a production device, you would know a little bit about this camera kit device. You're also going to need some type of MIDI interface. Right now, I have the Zoom H1. Um, this is the, I guess, might be the first generation, um, but they still do the same thing. This hooks up to your camera kit, and then, you know, you will have sound. You'll be able to hook up a microphone to this, or you can actually use this to output sound to some speakers or whatever you want to do with that. You can also get a larger MIDI interface. This is the Scarlett Solo, and you can hook this up to your iPad, and that way you can hook up a condenser mic uh, anything with an uh, XLR, that way you can get even a better sound by using something like this uh, for your iPad. And then you're going to need a microphone, okay? Um, you could use something like a Yeti. This is a USB Yeti. Uh, you could use something like this, or, or you can actually get the one that has the XLR connections. Those are pretty cool. Um, you can use that. But today, what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a lavalier mic um, in order for me to capture the sound into the iPad so that we can do it that way. Look. Let's go ahead and get to it, man, because I know you're excited. I know you want to record some vocals inside of your DAW. If you just got Cubasis 3 or you just learned or you had Cubasis 2, this is going to be a very cool tutorial. All right, come on, man. We ain't got no time to waste. Y'all know how we do this. Let's get it. Come on. Okay, let's go ahead and get these vocals inside of Cubasis 3. Uh, this is not going to take a lot. Um, like I said in the intro, it is a few things that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need an interface uh, in order for you to be able to do this. I hope you have an H1 or a H4 or 6 or even, you know, a Scarlet uh, audio interface so that you can hook up to your iPad so you'll be able to get your vocals inside of Cubasis. You can use the the iPad microphone, but I'm not going to recommend that. I mean, if you're at this point in the game, you're serious about recording, um, you're going to have to, you know, go out and grab those couple of pieces to make sure that you can get some quality, uh, you know, stuff going on and your your creativity can be represented correctly uh, if you go out and buy this these additional pieces to make this happen. As you can see, I've already got everything hooked up. Um, I got my camera adapter hooked up. I got my H1 hooked up. I'm going to use this lavalier uh, microphone to capture the audio but you can use something like a yeti or you can use you know any type of microphone you want all that really truly is based on what type of interface you're using if you're using an interface that accepts xlr then you will be able to use any type of mic condenser mic uh whatever so uh, i'm going to just use this small little guy to capture this sound and then we're going to be ready to go okay so um, Cubasis is already up. I already got a beat and a project loaded up. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to create an audio track, and that's going to be very easy to do. And again, if you have not watched my Cubasis 2 overview, uh, I'm going to leave a card right here. And this is Cubasis 3, but my Cubasis 2 overview really, truly uh shows you everything about the AI because they haven't really made too many different changes in as far as the AI is concerned. So that tutorial will definitely get you going uh, in Cubasis 3 as well. And if you guys want me to do an overview of Cubasis 3, leave it in the comments and I will see what I can do uh, by go ahead and, and kind of reintroducing you to Cubasis 2, but yet doing it for Cubasis 3. Okay. All right. So first thing we need to do again is create that audio track. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here to add. And we're going to add the audio track. All right. And as you can see, the audio track is there ready to go. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push monitor so that you could hear yourself and, you you know, the microphone. All right. So there go monitor. Now you can hear uh, me on both mediums um, on my microphone I'm using for the tutorial and the microphone for Cubasis. OK. All right. So let's go ahead on and push record and let's get some vocals in. Here we go. 
Yeah, testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so once you get that in, you can go back and you can listen to it. See how it sounds? Yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another track so I can show you that you could, you know, you can create, you can create as many tracks as you like until you know the system starts to get bogged down. Let's go ahead and create another one. All right, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna go ahead and push record. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we got two vocals in, and we can continue to keep going like this, uh, recording uh, vocals. Let's just do one more, just to make sure y'all understand how to record vocals inside of Cubasis 3. We're going to go to Add Again. We're going to go to Audio Track. Audio Track is up. We're going to make sure we can hear ourselves. Testing one, two, three. We can hear ourselves. Let's go ahead and do one more recording. Yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Studio testing, com. testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, Elbow huh? Media Studios. Testing, testing one, two, com. three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, huh? Testing, testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, three, Elbow huh? Media Studios. Test testing one, two, com. three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, Elbow three, huh? Studio testing, com. testing one, two. All right, and we can go in and we can just make some real quick cleanup changes real quick. Uh, we can highlight our track and we can go ahead and pan this one left. And then we can go ahead and pan our other track right, keep the other one in the middle. Let's push play and see how it sounds. Yeah, testing one, two, Elbow three, the studio, testing, com, testing Let's go add one, some effects to this other yeah, track yeah, yeah. by hitting testing the E one, here for two, effects. Elbow Media Studios, testing, testing one, dot com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add a little EQ on that. Give it a little sizzle to it. Testing one, two, Elbow Media Studios. Testing one, dot com. Gonna go back in, add a delay. Testing one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, Elbow Media Studios. Testing one, dot com. Testing one, two, Elbow Media Studios. Testing one, two, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Testing one, two, three, Elbow huh? Media Elbow Studios. Studios. Testing one, dot com. So just that easy, guys. We were able to, you know, hook up our interface, get our mic going, start laying down tracks inside of Cubasis 3. And I'm going to be real with you. This is what you want to use whenever you start working on your songs. Don't get me wrong. I love Beatmaker and Beatmaker can do vocals. But like I was telling you guys in the beginning, in most of my tutorials, I love to lay my tracks down inside of, of Cubasis 3 or 2. And then I like to add my vocals and everything using Cubasis 3 or 2 because it, it has that traditional DAW feel to it. And I love that about this program. All right. Cool. All right, guys, look, I hope that y'all was able to get some value out of this tutorial. Um, as you can see, it doesn't take a lot once you have everything you need in order for you to make the connection happen. Um, it's just a matter of you arming the track and recording your vocals. It's not that difficult. Um, in the future, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get your mobile studio up and running. I promised I was going to do that for you uh, in my New Year's video, and that's what I'm going to do. And I promise you that's going to be my next tutorial, all right? Listen, man, it's your boy Marcus Elbow, baby. This is Super Bowl Sunday, man. You see I'm dressed to impress, you know what I mean? About to get ready to go watch the game and do my thing. But I appreciate y'all coming by. I just wanted to get a video out this weekend so that you guys can enjoy 
enjoy this video while you're watching the Super Bowl and while you're relaxing or working on some music, all right? All right, man, look, thank y'all for coming by and checking out this video. Again, we appreciate the comments, appreciate all the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, man. This is the place to be, bro. If you're looking to learn, you're looking to get your studio skills up, your music production skills up, this is the place to be. You ain't gonna find no place better than this, baby. All right? All right, man, I'm gonna get it y'all later. Let's go check this game out. I holla at y'all. One, peace.